The Lufkin ISD board held a special meeting today to address a budget deficit within the Lufkin School District. This is after former Superintendent Lynn Torres' request to leave was approved in the wake of the deficit controversy. k Shakina Davis has what the board is doing to bring down the deficit. On August 1st, the board was presented with a deficit budget of $5.7 million. Lufkin ISD School Board President Christy Gay says the administrative team and staff have been able to reduce the deficit down by 42%. This has the deficit at $3.3 million. We do not believe that it's possible to get that down to zero. Uh, the team continues to work. They said they will be working until the last minute looking for more ways to reduce the deficit. She says staffing and capital projects are the top cuts made so far. Additional equipment such as school buses have been placed on hold. We're going to be smart about uh, having those decisions made depending on the position and the importance that it is to our teaching and learning uh, within the district. To meet state requirements, they had to find a way to make sure increased security is funded to provide safer campuses for the Lufkin School District. Gay says a consultant has been recommended to the board, but they have not made a decision. If we do bring someone in to help us and to possibly identify some areas uh, that can be improved, that it's things that, that will benefit the district and that's been proven to help other districts um, with the work that they've done in the past. Shakina Davis, KTRE, East Texas, News 9. The board says the budget does not include raises for staff at this time, but they hope the Texas legislature could provide some funding through an adjusted budget this fall. They have until August 31st to set their final budget and tax rate.